better. <laughs> Harry Bapuji is an associate professor in the Asper School of Business who researches organizational problems that have an effect on society. Particularly, he focuses on how companies can prevent, manage, and learn from crises that affect both organizations and societies. He's published numerous scholarly articles that have appeared in leading management journals, including the Harvard Business Review, the Journal of Operations Management, Journal of Management Studies, and Management and Organization Review. He's published a book, Not Just China, The Rise of Recalls in the Age of Global Business, which has been recognized as an outstanding academic title by Choice Magazine. Harry's research on product recalls has been instrumental in shaping public discourse on China's role in global product safety and has been widely cited by hundreds of print and electronic media outlets. It's a pleasure to welcome Harry Bapuji. Thank you, David, for the kind introduction. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, sometime back, I read somewhere that uh, by Wednesday, people are looking for vacations. So they are searching actively for vacation. So if this is your concept of break, I must say you have very good taste. <laughs> the topic that we have today, crouching tiger, hidden dragon, does the rise of China mean decline of the West? It's a complex topic, um, but I'd like to give a simple answer, hopefully in a, in a minute's time. Um, and after that, um, we'll find a way to kill the rest four or five minutes. Um, so let me give you the answer a bit visually. Um, you might know that the tallest freestanding structure in the world today is Burj Khalifa, uh, which is in Dubai, which was built in 2007. Um, before, the, before Burj Khalifa was built, it was CN Tower which held the record. Uh, and before that, you know, a, a bunch of others, so as you can see there. Um, I've not been to the other places, uh, including Burj Khalifa, uh, but I have definitely been to CN Tower a couple of times. And I can tell you with confidence and first-hand knowledge that since the time Burj Khalifa has been built, the height of CN Tower remained the same. It has not decreased. <laughs> so what it tells me is that just because one is rising doesn't mean that the other is going to fall down. Okay? So, <laughs> Well, I'm happy you liked it, but I wasn't so sure that you might. So to impress you a little bit with the hard data, I put some figures together uh, of the GDP per capita of Canada, China, and US. As you can see the red line out there, um, China's GDP per capita has been rising. But look closely, the GDP per capita of US and Canada is rising too. It is not falling. So we got the answer, which is that the rise of China does not mean the decline of the West. Okay? Now that we have that answer, let's, let's talk about my book. <laughs> which is not just China. <laughs> I got the idea from you, George. <laughs> not just China, the rise of recalls in the age of globalization. In this book, what I say is that if we really want to improve product safety, we have to look beyond China. So the same theme I would like to carry on here into this presentation. So the expression crouching tiger, hidden dragon is a metaphor to alert us to the hidden dangers that are not obvious. So when I thought about this topic, it occurred to me that if we don't pay attention to the way we are framing our conversations, the way we are framing our debates, we fall into a very dangerous trap, some of the traps that Tina has uh, alluded to. So I'd like to take, uh, deconstruct this topic by picking on four different words, that is rise, China, decline, and the West. So let's look at um, the rise of China. So if we look at the GDP per capita growth of US and Canada in comparison to China, then definitely the rates are, they, they do pale in comparison to the, uh, the GDP growth of China. But if you look at the GDP growth of Canada and US by itself, they are not bad at all. So why are we focused more on GDP growth, particularly when recent evidence it from a number of disciplines clearly shows that developed economies like Canada, US, UK do not need any more economic growth to achieve human development. 
what we need is more equality in the societies. So if we have more equal societies, we are going to have a better human development. So that is why we need to focus on that instead of the economic growth. So the other thing that I would like to point you to is why are we focusing on China when it's not just China, but Brazil, Australia, uh, Latin America, and um, Africa, all of them are rising. And the latest cover story of economists talks about the Scandinavian countries being the next supermodel. These are the ones which, are, which have not only achieved economic growth, but also have gotten social equity. So as a result of focusing on the economic equality, what they're doing is they are, they are de developing better societies. So there are, at the end of 2011, 67 countries have grown at a rate of 5% or more in, in their GDP. Um, about 70 countries are expected to grow at 5% or over in the next several years to, to come. Uh, if you look at the countries that have grown over 2.4%, that is Canada's GDP growth, that is about 120 or 130 countries. Then why are we focused only on China? And finally, the notion of West. When you say West, we are obviously interested in it because we think Canada is part of West. But I was wondering, what is this West? Are we talking about North America? Are we talking about European Union? Or are we talking about OECD? No matter which definition you take, Canada has outperformed the average out there. So do we really need to see Canada as part of the West? So going back to the uh, tallest freestanding record, what we see is that if for a long time, for about 3,000 years, pyramids have held the record of being the tallest freestanding structure. And thereafter came the Eiffel Tower, which held it for about 40 odd years, then uh, Empire State Building 30 years. Uh, if Burj Khalifa can hold the record for 10 years, they would be lucky, because buildings that stand as tall as a kilometer are going to be built in the next few years. So what this shows us is the pace of change that is taking place in the world. If we want to compete in this fast changing world and really do well, what we need to focus on is not just these divisions, uh, not just focus on China or the, uh, or the uh, East or West or the rise or decline or social or economic. We need to really focus beyond these dichotomies or to sum up in one sentence, if we want to be really visionary, I think we need to stop looking at these divisions. With that, I conclude.